Hello everybody, um, I'm Jimmy Fantastic and welcome to my quarter-final match against Minz202. Um, he had orcs that were 50k more than mine, um, 50 TV more, so I got a babe, he didn't get anything, he had 100k in the bank, didn't spend anything. I thought he may have dropped a reserve to deny me the babe, but um, there's kind of no, there was no point because the next match is, the winner of this match plays Nurgle, so I guess he, I thought he thought he needed the players for that game, I guess. But obviously, he's, he's unlikely to need the reserves against me. Uh, so if ever, he, I won the toss and made him and made him receive because I thought this way, if he grinds me down and he scores on turn eight, I get the one turn. I've got most chance to have my one turn option available at that point with players surviving. Um, and also, if I if I put pressure on him on his offense, he's not going to be able to tee off with his tackle mighty blow piling on. Um, guy and his other mighty blow tackle guy now all his blitzers have dodge which is really good obviously stand firm is really good um, loads of guard on the team three three blitzers with guard two black orcs with guard so um, that was pretty brutal um, and he had a dirty player which also could have been brutal uh, two dirty players, sorry, two dirty players. So that's got the potential to be brutal, but obviously the mighty blow hits you're giving up is you can't stop the mighty blow hits. The mighty blow on him too. Um, my team, as before, movement nine, really good. Edge five, really good. Um, and the strength four witch. I mean, both witches are good, but the strength four one, obviously, particularly, particularly awesome. So. This is Chase Cam painted. I'll I'll show it from whoever's whoever's drive it is. I'll show from from their point of view. Um, Fashbinder invented this camera angle. <laughs> invented this idea of looking at whose drive it is, and it's good because it gives me a fresh perspective on his drive as well, doesn't it? Which is good. Obviously, put the Blodge Blitzer. I thought was more valuable, even though obviously the wrestle. Dodge Lineman took more star player points to get where he is. I still value him more, so that's why he was somewhat protected in the middle. And I had kick. I, I picked kick on that witch actually. I could have taken fend because um, you know everyone's got piling on that I may be playing. Um, and I didn't. I, to be honest, I didn't realise he had kick off return. And I thought, you know, he's only got a blitzer to pick it up with. So that, straight away, you know, if I can pin him back in this corner every every time, I need him. You know, if he, if he hadn't had kickoff return there, he goes three back and three back, and and then he's ending here, isn't it? And then I thought I can split the team. I thought that was one of my way, main ways to beat both the Orcs and the uh, Nurgle if I win this match. I thought kick is pretty good then, because I just don't see how I can get the ball off him. Um, you know, with... With how much guard he's got, I just didn't see how I was going to be able to crack the cage. I've got no leap, uh, and it's just like you know, there was nothing really. I just didn't without the wizard. I just didn't see how any way I could crack his cage, and I thought kick might be able to put it in the corner. And as it happened, it um it did no good at all because he had kick off return, which I just didn't realise. That that was pretty dumb of me, and Fend would have actually done done things in the game as well. But never mind, it's done now. So, I mean, he made this a wide cage for really no reason. And it meant that this guard wasn't doing anything as well. So he makes this blitz here, and I don't think he should have followed up. He follows up to maybe make the pile on. And I think at least if he gets cast here, you know, he's, he's going to give up a block. Um, he did cast him, and then he won in nine the dodge out. And only got stunned. So here, here, this was the crucial turn as it happened in the whole match. Because with him, obviously he was unlucky to one in nine there. But, you know, it, the ball's needlessly exposed here, really. And it's turn one, you know. So, um, oh, I should make that go. So I thought for a long time here, because this is pretty pretty big. Um, you know, if you'd move this guy here first, then it's totally shored up. And then he's got, like, the double screen and then the wide screen. But it just wasn't achieving anything, making it a wide screen here. Um apart from letting me get in and I thought you know I'll, I'll take this 75% shot all day I didn't like putting the, I put I didn't like putting him on there but I only had so many blodgers 
and um, I just thought, you know, I'm going to have to do that. So, yeah, you go. 45%, 75% dodge in, and then 2D with wrestle tackle. Obviously, if I'd failed the first time, I'd have re-rolled it because it was into a minus two dice. Yeah, but this, this blodger wanted to go on him because I thought I had to occupy him. And I just haven't got that many players. And I guess I could have put the witch elf. I don't want to give the witch elf up, do I? So... Maybe she could have gone last, as it happened. But this is the Major League 5 guy, show sure hands. Pretty good. I'd used the reroll, so I'd thought about this, and then I thought, screw it, I'll go for it. It's just a 3 plus, isn't it, with um, with Agility 5, picks it up. Pass. <laughs> 3 plus, only a 3 plus pass. So it wasn't even hard. Um, but yeah, not getting to see if I if I could have managed to get the diamond tackle witch onto these two, that would have been amazing, wouldn't it? But I couldn't, so I couldn't really. It wasn't really safe. I think maybe he should have been a square back. If he'd been a square back, um, one, two, three. This guy would have had a GFI maybe to get the assist, but I, I don't know. He does have sidestep, doesn't he? So. I don't know, but I mean, it's just so tough with all these all these guard that he's got around the ball. You can't even see the players coming. There's so, many, there's so much guard you can't even see the players. So he gets the power because he's got tackle. But you know, I had tackle in contact with him, so it was a three plus without without dodge as it happened. Makes a three plus pickup. Makes a GFI and blocks him. I expected him to push him here, but he pushed him here. I don't know if he just clicked too quick. But it's still a horrible prospect, isn't it? Just so much guard. So, you know, again, I thought for a long time before doing anything. He went back as a bit of a safety. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing there. Maybe I should have moved him over here. Yeah, I went for the one dice to chain out the guard. And I, I could have pushed him here and that. But it was all dice to do stuff and I wasn't really happy about any of it. But maybe this would have been a better play to push him over here because... I don't know. I really don't know what I should have done. But got the two dice on him anyway. Two dice into one dice with tackle. Again, ball and tackle zone, no problem. And here, I want, I want to really want to get the power there. If I get the power there, then I can uh, run back here, can't I, with the ball and and kind of protect. But I, I elected to potato, as it's known in the uh, Blood Bowl Two community, of just running down unprotected. And then I realised I should have tagged the blitzer, shouldn't I? There, make him make another three plus dodge out. Instead of here, which all this did was make him commit the uh, guard. Should have even put him here, shouldn't I? One, two, three, four. That would have been two, two GFIs. I should have put him. No, then he could have just used a non guard. But it didn't make him commit a guard. But in, in retrospect, I should have tagged the um, tagged the frenzy guy. Obviously, the tackle is going nowhere next to the uh, witch. Anyway. So, yeah, he got frenzy on the, on the blodger. Six dice total because he's got two dice. Into a two dice with a reroll, but he's unlucky and doesn't make it. Buzzing to death about that. But I mean, everyone's just taken up, aren't Everyone's occupied. It's it's a tenuous uh, grip on the match at the moment, but with using his reroll there, he doesn't have one for this GFI. So that was lucky. And you know, there was no real safe place. I should have, I forgot about this guy to be honest. I should have moved him up first to there. But there was no, there's no blocks I could make. All I could do is make the dodge out, double one it. Pretty unlucky. But um, he's not hurt, so that, that was good. But this is horrible, isn't it? Giving up the tackle hits. Tackle hit on the witch. Tackle pom hit on him. I was like, oh god, this is so unlucky. It was just, it seemed really unlucky because of all the hits I was giving up. That was, that was the main thing. Oh, he double scored. I didn't even realise this at the time. <laughs> So that, that was his reroll gone there. So wow, I double wand and then he double skull. That's crazy, isn't it? Survived the mighty blow hit there. Yeah. 
At this point, he's got to think about not piling on just because he's got so few tackle. So if he'd failed that 3+, plus, I just scored on over the edge 5 guy. Crazy. Not making a mighty blow block, but running around. Which, which is fair, because otherwise the witch, it was an easy hit for the witch, wasn't it? So yeah, wrestled him. I could have not wrestled, but there was no chance I was going to give up. Give up an arm roll on the witch, even though it would have stopped him coming in here. So, again, I thought for ages. I fished for a pow there. Pow there would have been amazing, wouldn't it? That would have changed things if I'd pow. Because then it's an easy route through here, isn't it? Two plus out, two plus through. Well, because I didn't pow him, I went for a four plus three plus dodge with dodge. Not that unlikely to fail. And then, maybe I should have taken the push, because I hadn't used my reroll. I could have pushed him, and then maybe he's got the pow. Um, I didn't really like the wrestle there. Obviously opens up the which foot foul. Two plus him out, just because he's movement nine and he can he can do anything. And then he's the show hands. This this sucked that he used all his movement to get there, because obviously I'm adjacent to the to the ball. Slight misplay here, uh, <laughs> I ended up making a GFI that I well I really shouldn't have had to have done. I actually could have made him dodge instead of the GFI. Maybe I thought about fouling here after I moved him out. Because I thought if I foul him, he's not really got anyone else who can get the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI, I guess. So he could have gone for the G double GFI with tackle. But um really did think about the foul. But yeah, he's, he's got frenzy, so again he's got he's got another another six dice if he needed it, but gets him on the first two. This is because he powered him on the first one though, you know, he'd he'd had to think about dodging out against diving tackle. <laughs> Probably doesn't want to do that. So he ended up making the GFI to pick up with this guy, I think. the pickup and then fouls the witch which is fair enough isn't it armor seven armor seven on the ground with 30 players he's going to take that foul all day long gets the cars and you know with it even though miss next game is the worst one to apple because you're not appling a perm and you're not appling a badly hurt but i'm like i need the strength of all witch for this match the rest of this match and obviously if i win i need her again so i, I had to apple that um, you could argue that fouling the edge 5 would have had more value, but this guy is just as in range as, if a touchdown as the edge 5 as the AG5 is. Get the power there, which again was going into a 1D. Lovely scatter. Obviously if it had been up here, the edge 5 would have gone for it. And he gets it. You can see it later. Oh yeah, also... <laughs> I missed it. When I moved the movement nine guy down there, he does have sprint, and I rerolled his dodge out. If I hadn't rerolled his dodge out, I would have considered sprinting into the end zone and because he's got sidestep, and then going for the pickup pass with the edge five. I was considering that, but after I'd used my reroll straight away, obviously, that was um, that was off the off the table then. So actually. Um, Failing my 2 plus dodge to score worked out to my advantage as I stalled it down to only 3 turns from the score now. Down to 10 players is pretty pretty happy with having 10 players at this point. He's still on 11. Obviously. I've made about 3 blocks all match. <laughs> Just to get the ball. And then again, kickoff return. Massive for him here. Um... Bounces and he catches it. I mean, could you imagine if he's up here and he's got to move all that way? It's huge for him. Kickoff return was so massive for him this game. And another injury. It's crazy who'd have been here and instead he's just, you know, four squares ahead or something. Crazy. 
He's protected the ball better there than he did on the first drive. When he's trying to score quickly. Interestingly. So he's made a bit of a push down here. I, I make a nice blitz here. Obviously, movement nine guy is ridiculous again. Just runs around here, sidesteps, so he's keeping the, that sideline locked down. He doesn't have guard, so I get to push him into a two dice with him being there. Get the pal. Which obviously gets to hit both. Now, if I. If, obviously, I'm. <laughs> Thank you, Tony, for <laughs> So yeah, get the power there. Very lucky power. I misplay here because I put two guys on him, and they only really need to be one. I should have just put the edge five on him and kept the uh, kept the witch back as a sweeper. That was that was bad play by me. I didn't need two players on him. Just just the just the edge five would have been enough. Um, these are okay. This is terrible. I run out. I run out of time in my turn. Um, I left the guy there. Now, obviously, looking at this. This guy, he's, I'm thinking, what does he do? He moves him down and blitzes him. Maybe he gets something out there. He he can't really do a lot. Um, he can't do anything. So, you know, and looking at the squares, this is four GFI, so he can score, right? So, But that means he can't go laterally. So he's got to go down this line here. So, like, what I should have done, clearly, was make these two extra squares so that even if he blitzes one, he's got to dodge away from the other. So, like, that was... And I'll just have more out there, but... So a couple of big mistakes, leaving him there instead of there. Because if he busts through the middle, obviously this would have made it really easy for him to break through the middle. But if he breaks through the middle, I don't know, he could have a full cage though. So maybe maybe it wasn't that bad a misplay. The, the, the huge one was not having the witch back. Um, but there you go. Like it's arguable, isn't it? Because if he blitz down the middle here, gets the pow, if he was over here, then he could have had a full cage here, so... I'm not. I'm not even sure it was that bad to leave him there, to be honest. But it probably was bad to leave him there. But definitely the thing was the witch. That was so bad, so bad. And even the strength four one maybe I should have left back and made a different blitz. But I did like that it it dealt with two of his scoring threats. <laughs> Listening to you argue with yourself about which play you should have made is pretty interesting. <laughs> Thank you, Tony Plays Bully. Thank you for the bits. Thank you very much. He, he, made, he thought about where to put him and eventually just went for this. And look, this this now, <laughs> this is a very fateful misplay here, right? We've got the blood stepper there. Mark the ball. And blitz with him. Now. I roll pushes and you can count the squares one two three four five six gfi gfi right i push him to here there's no way he can score because he can't chain himself forward she's got sidestep there's no possible chain he he would be in scoring range still to be fair um but you know this was just awful i just think i didn't power him i'll re-roll it and i haven't even got tackle so th it, it was just such a greedy stupid re-roll i just can't understand that I made it you know I just don't know what came over me push is all I needed and like a prize idiot I re-rolled it into double skull and you know you can fill the squares and blitz her away <sighs> that was so bad that was you know one of the worst players of all time I, just, I could have pushed him back and still been in contact with a blood stepper and then just base this guy with a couple of players. It was just horrible. Horrible play. So he three dices the sidestepper away. Makes the two GFIs. And he scores on turn eight. So 1-1 one, one instead of 1-0. Just purely because I was an idiot. Absolute misplay. Terrible. Terrible play by myself. Uh, I had no excuses for that. And that's one of the things, you know, if I was watching... I would have just been saying, what the fuck is, is he doing there? That is terrible. But when you play, you get that kind of 
you know, you get the blinkers on, don't you? And you you don't see like obvious things. That I thought to myself last turn. I just I just thought he was in scoring range. Just weird. I knew that with four GFIs you could score. So to me, he was a scoring threat that I had to power. Some somehow just happened in my in my brain. So there you go. Very very huge, like touchdown costing misplay there. Absolutely terrible. Um, so bad. So, um, yeah, so I've still got the chance of the one turn, and I, I misplay on the one turn as well. Um, I thought for ages, right? And eventually I went with a play of blitzing this Black Orc to here into a hole, which I hate blitzing into holes anyway, and then a block so that um, uh, the second block from the Witch Elf would then push the sidestep it here and obviously what I could have done I was so stupid <laughs> this guy could have run around to here and put in somebody to cancel here and I could have blitzed this guy pushed him onto him and I was thinking that I'd have to push him across but I couldn't because sidestep I could have pushed hit this blitzer Thank you for the follow, Justice Buford T. I could have blitzed this blitzer here on two dice by cancelling this assist and getting one here. Pushed him and put a player... Yeah, yeah. So pushed him there, and my sidestepper could have been here, and he'd have been pushed out to there, wouldn't he? And then the second block on the on the blitzer would have cleared him as well. So then you, you'd be ending up that I would have had no tackle zones on him. Uh, sorry, one tackle zone, because this, this dirty player would have been in one tackle zone, and you've had a four plus, four plus, two plus out. Would have been pretty easy, really. It would have been so easy. I wouldn't have even needed a blitz with a witcher. Oh, no, I would have done for the strength, probably. But th that would have been so much better, putting the sidestepper here and blitzing this guy into a sidestep forward to there. Um, but, yeah, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I was going to try and blitz the one dice blitz the Black Hawk into a push, then another one dice block to get him, and it was it was just stupid. And Nuffle saw my plans clearly as Throw Rock happened, <laughs> and my Movement Nine guy got stunned. The one time my Movement Nine guys had the chance to score a one turn, and he got stunned. But I mean, I had done it the wrong way around. It I should have definitely gone for chaining. A chain push, definitely. And then... Get, so, obviously, just attrition blitz on his kind of ball carrier. And then try to skill up this guy who's on five. Who was a journeyman that I bought, which is why he's not called I'm Batman. The only guy in the team not called I'm Batman. So, yeah. It was my, my misplay in the end. I didn't, I didn't mind too much that, uh, <laughs> that the throw rock screwed me and obviously had I played okay in the first half and not re-rolled a push that was so so bad I still can't believe I made such a bad bad play to essentially lose me the game when you think about it now I've got nine players nine players isn't that bad but now he gets a tee off right it's 1-1 one, one. if I was 1-0 up I can score at any time and it's just horrible from having to defend it like, how does on earth does he defend against a, a, an elf team that can score any time they want? It's easy for him. But now, I mean, sorry, it's impossible for him. But now it's easy for him because, you know, he's just got to stop the score and it goes to overtime. He doesn't have to try to turn me over and stuff, which he would do if, if I was 1-0 up or whatever. It's so much different it being 1-1 than being 1-0 down. Though, obviously, being 1-1 at half time was great for me, you know, and, and only two players down. I said to Fashbinder before the game, I'll be happy if I've got eight at the start of the second half. And I would have been, really. Um, you know, because I expected to be up at the end of the first half. <laughs> no. Uh, I don't know. Look, if, if Mince had kept it tight on the first turn, I don't think I would have really had a chance. I would have had to just screen. And then, you, again, if I was just screening, if I was just passively screening all half, you would have just been blitzing with his tackle pommer and then fouling me with a dirty player. And... So by making it all about the ball, he just couldn't tee off like that, which was good. Quick snap, I, I was even more of a pussy and ran away. And, uh, you know, I just thought, 
I'll make the screening defence. And this, and then funnily enough, exactly what happens is what would happen if I was just screening defensively. I didn't even make a blitz because I thought, I don't want to commit two players to a blitz. And like, what if I roll a double skull? I don't want to even re-roll it. I want to use my re-rolls for dodges and stuff. Crucial, crucial dodges and stuff to screen. The bad thing is, of course, by exposing my bad players, they don't have dodge, whereas the other ones do. So, but I can't expose my good players to this tackle pommer, can I? Who, sure enough, gets the pow and the kill. So now I do have eight players at the start of the second half. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got amazingly lucky that that Mins did leave that did leave that gap in his. His offense really turn one. So yeah, he's just, he's just going to base as many plays as he can here, isn't he? And because I know I've got to score and I've got to stall out the half, it gets really, really hard. Obviously, this is this is so hard. This this was a hard, this was a hard half of Blood Bowl. Let me tell you. Could have maybe he's gone for a surf here. Um, but I, I kind of wanted to push him and just, you know, protect. Sidestepper wanted to get out in front. Um, you know, so that no one gets surfed. Movement 9 lets him get there. I went for a blitz here, which was a bit bit crazy, because it was a 2 dice into a 1 dice, and obviously had to accept the both down. It was a bit crazy, but if I'd powered him... Then um, I could have run around to where he is, and then he could have done something. I just felt that it was worth knocking over the pommer, you know. I just didn't want to give up more blocks from this fucking tackle pommer. It was a nightmare. I just thought any chance to get him down, I was going to try and take. So now again, he just gets to swarm. Swarm in, doesn't he? All men's contact all the time. He's got so much strength and guard, I can't. Can't even block him. <laughs> Bit weak here. There was the chance to score. If if I was one nil up at this point, maybe he would have defended differently. But if I was one nil up, I would have totally gone for the touchdown on him. One dice blitz on this guy for a push. Come back assist here. Which health goes in there? Two dice this guy to clear. And then it's a two plus handoff to score. Um, but yeah, the foul makes the KO as you would expect. Um, but gets sent off, which is fine for me, obviously. So now I'm down to seven, but he's on ten. So yeah, I would have totally gone for this touchdown had it ha if I was 1 0 up. But. You know, I've got to. St I know I've got to stall out the half, otherwise he'll win. Because I'm just running out of players. You know, at a, at a ridiculous rate. Um, well, not ridiculous. Fast. <laughs> a rapid rate, but not ridiculous because he's he's got tackle bomb and dirty players. So it's not ridiculous that I would take this amount of attrition. I kind of don't like that the movement nine hasn't got the ball. Obviously, I picked it up with the edge so that I could dodge through tackle zones if he swarms me. But on the other hand, the movement nine, it's hard to say which is right who to carry with, you know. Movement nine gives you more options of movement, but then edge five gives you more of a chance if you get swarmed, doesn't it? So I thought, you know, carry with the edge five and then use the movement nine as an outlet. I thought it was maybe the better play, but could have been wrong. That was that was a bit of a bad fail. I wasn't about to re-roll it, but obviously if I'd made it, he couldn't have got in here. But that lets him swarm these two as well. Obviously, marking the uh, tackle pom with a rookie is very desirable. I guess I was lucky that he didn't have that much tackle. You know, although like his blitzes are great, blodge guard, like the frenzy wasn't that good. I know it's decent actually. But I mean, tackle would have probably been better for him this match. Um, and the, the stand firm could have been amazing, but it, he didn't really use him that that it wasn't that influential. So it, had he had four tacklers, this would have been a lot worse. 
Um, but as it was, I was just trying to stay away from the tacklers as much as possible. Yeah, just run away. Movement 9 gets to go here or something. <laughs> Crazy. And he's got tackle on both of these now. So obviously had to use a real one. Maybe I should have dodged her out first. But then I wanted her to be able to go up here as like an outlet. I didn't know what to do with this guy, really. So I decided to screen off the movement guy. So now that, that that's pretty effective now, isn't it? Now, um, if she had been here, I guess, everything would have been screened. But um, if he wants to hit a bloodstepper with, without tackle, that's fine, isn't it? You'd have had a GFI to hit him, so he didn't really need to be screened from this guy. But that was a nice dodge out in the end. So, like, this turn, he kind of plays like, um, like he's got to turn me over, you know, rather than I've got to score, because he does commit quite heavily here. I mean, two Black Hawks way, way into my half now. Um, you know, taking themselves out of the play potentially later turns. Like, that's, that is the weakness of Black, of, of Orcs. The Black Hawks are pretty slow. He could have almost not even played them, to be honest. He could have he maybe played the line, the line Orcs just to get a bit more movement um, in the second half. I was glad that he didn't base the uh, Witch Elf there. <laughs> So I, I went. I just thought. I thought about this for a bit, and I just thought, "Fuck it, I've got to make the play for the sideline here." Um, I wasn't really much else I could see. Dodge through because he's edge five. Pass it, catch it. And then I think what I should have done here is this guy could have marked him there, blodge against non-tackle, and then the rookie lineman could have made. Could have made two GFIs to base the tackle. And I just left him there. A three plus two plus to get out to here would have been really nice, wouldn't it? But um, I just didn't want you know to give it get another player. I mean, if I hadn't, then this strength five gets in here, doesn't he? So I just thought better to occupy him because movement four is fast enough, actually. So, you know, I mean, I've tagged him there, which is good. And tag, so I've tagged the tackler, tagged the stand firm. The other tackler's over here. So I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, pretty confident at this point. But now I'm like, oh no, he's going to blitz and put, put him here, you know. And he doesn't, he puts him there. And I'm like, well, he's going to dodge away and go here, right? But he doesn't, he just blocks. And gets a minus agility on this blitzer, which really hurts. Misses the next game um, against the Nurgle if I were to win. Um, and obviously just minus edge in general. But he's just left a hole, hasn't he? There's, there's, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that I, he just let me run out. And he said, I think I've messed that up. And I was like, yeah, I think you have. <laughs> There was there was multiple options there. I could have blitzed this guy with the with a witch elf and uh, gone over this side, but I I don't know. I just thought I've got more chance of stalling if I can make a proper screen. If I'd gone this way, I think I couldn't have, I couldn't have helped stall as easily as getting everyone here. I also could have made a GFI with this guy and a dodge and a GFI with him or something. Two GFIs and a dodge, so I could have made it so much better than it was, but I just didn't want to you know fail the one in thirty six. But maybe I should have done. Maybe that maybe I should have made the extra the extra two plus rolls here. Because it wasn't that hard from two dodges and two GFIs to one dice the ball. With tackle. It wasn't that hard for him. But then of course if he doesn't kill me, it's not that hard for me to score still. Got the edge five there. The witch elf there. That's the thing, I've got the recovery options are so much better by going down this side, I think. He does it. Two dodges, two GFIs, one dice on the ball. And thank God, 
Thank God he didn't. Nothing bad happened. And, you know, obviously now could have scored pretty easily, but there's no way I'm going to do that. Make the dodge with dodge to hit rather than just dodging away because he's got tackle. Worked out very nicely. She rolled a one on the first one. Diamond tackle on the only guy who could reach. And f at first I was thinking about passing to the agility five guy, and then I realised I was movement nine, so I could just get <laughs> nearly as far as him anyway. Made a GFI, two GFIs. Could have made the third as well, then he couldn't have even been based. But um, I thought, you know, let him make the rules to base, make moves to base me, and I can just dodge away with a reroll anyway. Obviously, with two turns left, potential overtime. At this point, I'm committed, and I'm rerolling everything that fails because. I think if I go to overtime, I just lose with no players. <laughs> As you can see, four players, cars, two KO. Um, but then, then he managed to get into a nice screening position there. Really shuts down the idea of him blitzing. And now the witch that took kick instead of Fen gets hit by a tackle bomber. <laughs> Who only stuns her. And he gets to pile on. Makes a Kaz. Badly hurt. Oh, thank God. That was so bad. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh man, if only I'd taken Fed instead of Kick. Because Kick did nothing because it was Kick off return. And I was like, if she dies because I didn't take Fen. <laughs> oh, oh man, I would have felt bad. So he made his two GFIs to mark the ball. And then made another two GFIs to mark him too. So that, that was good from him. And then he gets his scoring threat here. <laughs> Which, you know, although, although I'm laughing now, you know, he, he could have scored with him. He's, he's, he catches it in a 4+. plus. It's, it's not crazy. So that's why I went for the I went for the blitz with uh, with this guy rather than dodge out. Because I think if I fail the dodge with him, it's better than, than failing. You know, at least I've got the blodge step. Plus then if he was to blitz the blodge step and just get a push, I score, don't I, still, so... So I thought that was that was better to dodge out with him, and then no touchdown foul because it's against the rules in the playoffs. <laughs> I would have totally, I would have totally touchdown fouled him if I could though. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank God, two one up. But yeah, heavy heavy casualties as expected. I mean, I, I got really, I got really lucky that that Mins exposed the ball like he did. Well, that didn't really expose it, but I mean, and also he still won in nine as well. You know, he, even as as loose as his cage was, if he hadn't won in nine, or if he hadn't followed up and just gone back, the ball would have been really safe. And I didn't really know how I was going to get the ball off him or anything. You know, I really, I really didn't know how I was going to win this game without the wizard. I thought with a wizard I would have been all right. And as it happened, he he kind of gave me a wizard by um by rolling that one in nine on the dodge and leaving himself somewhat exposed. So he sets up to one turn and, he's, and then he said in chat, I don't even know how to do this. And uh, it would have been possible, but I, was, I thought he'd a plus movement guy, but he doesn't. Um, <laughs> I was in flash behind his chat at this point, obviously, because I think I've won. And I'm like, he can do it, he can do it. And I don't know why I thought he had plus movement, but he doesn't. So it was, it would have been next to impossible. Um, maybe with frenzy he could have done it, but it's it super hard one turn touchdown with movement six. Like, un unless your opponent sets up uh, all next to each other, it's ridiculously hard one turn. And then the one time kick would have done something. She was uh she had been cast due to not having found. <laughs> so it was possible, probably. But he just got a power on the first very first block. And um that was good. Good for me. Dirty boy making a pile on. And then he finally fails a pickup. I mean, he made a few, he made a few good rolls when he was under pressure. Like he kept, he kept recovering, didn't he? When um, like I think he played well overall. I just think it was basically. I think I played well overall. It was just that my horrific turn, turn seven was so bad, 
and obviously him him leaving it a bit exposed. But and he was still unlucky. To, even even though he left it a bit exposed there, he was still unlucky. And and for some reason, give me that that hole on offense. I think I think that was a misplay from him. But there you go. It was a pretty good game. And in, in like it was really it was really intense with it being one one. It made it a much better game um, that I <laughs> that I let him score. <laughs> Touch um, MVP there is pretty good. It means he's if he gets a touchdown against the Nurgle, he um, he levels. And obviously, winning here gives me a hundred euros. So um, that's good. Hundred euros guaranteed. If I beat the Nurgle, it's two fifty guaranteed. Um, and you know, I feel more confident against the Nurgle than I did this game. Fifteen AV breaks to none. I only made eighteen blocks. He made thirty six, and from that, four KOs and five cars. Um, you know, so it was a brutal match. But yeah, hundred euros in the money. That's the important thing, isn't it? And then next match. Next match is going to be really tough against the Nurgle, but I'm, I'll have a wizard against them. So, so I, I just instantly feel more confident. The fact that I didn't have a wizard against this Orc team, I just felt like I had no chance because I, you know, if he if he just made a tight cage turn one, it would have been it would have been horrific. So um, yeah, um, that was that. Anyway, the next match is against the Nurgle. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.